it's your boy Cam back here with another video and today I'm going to give you all a simple but um, easy reskinning tutorial on how you can reskin your own engine on uh, paint.net or whatever application you use but this is mostly for my um, this is mostly for my um, paint.net users and I recommend that you use paint.net for your first time but if you want to try on um, Photoshop I would recommend you try uh, Photoshop first if you can um, afford to get it it's very it's way much harder but in the end it would be uh, worth it but for my beginners we can go ahead and start the video and um, we're gonna start off with part one on which is how to make a blank map and I don't know what that is I did not know about that so no thanks but we're gonna go ahead and start off on how to make a blank uh, a blank map I'm not reskinning the case uh, well I'm not reskinning a ES44 AC today but I'm just gonna show y'all how to make a simple um, blank map. You can do this with a lot of JR engines. You can't really do this with RMOS engines. Um, but yeah. So first off, you wanna double tap the engine and go to Show and Explorer. After you hit Show and Explorer, double click this and then go to Mesh Body. After you go to Mesh Body, what you wanna do is go to Map One Underscore Bump. Hit that. After you hit that, you'll see this. So this is where you can start making your um your blank map so what you want to do is you want to add a new layer and bring it under the background make sure the color is black and you want to get your bucket tool right here and fill after you fill you want to go to background go to adjustments go to hue and saturation and you want to make the saturation go all the way down and make the lightness go all the way up after that you go to add a new layer hit properties hit multiply keep the opacity at normal and hit okay, okay after you've done that you can um play around with the engine and do whatever uh, make sure you don't reskin with just all black like uh, the darkest color of black so if you want to make like a no folks other engine just go a little bit brighter like that because none of your details will show up so now you can reskin and do whatever the heck you want to the locomotive um it's as simple as that um, but when you're done, uh, please, uh, you want to go to File, File, Save As, and I forgot to tell y'all this, but clone the engine. Please clone the engine. You can clone the engine as simply as going to the engine, press, click on it once, press Content, and then press Clone or Control D. And then what you can do is you go to Today, and then you go to type in New Assets. And it'll be one of the first things that pop up. But getting back to the um, reskin, what you want to do is you want to um, see how it says map one bump. You want to get rid of that. You want to go to where it, you want to like backspace until it says map one. But you want to go down to map one TGA dot TGA. Then this is very important. Save as type. Save it as TGA. After you uh, save as TGA, you can save it and go ahead replace all of this press ok and then it will ask you to flatten it go ahead and flatten it and after that you can go ahead and exit out and you're basically done so that's the simple tutorial on how to make a blank map and to start your reskin but now we're gonna get into like reskin your actual locomotive today all right so we're gonna get back into it and um i'm gonna show y'all how to really start to um, reskin your locomotive so as you see, I'm gonna be resetting the UPS 70M today into WNA Paint. So what I have here, I have over here is my blank map. I have my logo. I have my little cheat sheet, which I'll show y'all how to make one later. And I have the map reopened so I can copy details off the locomotive and put it onto the 70M. So what you want to first go ahead and start off doing is get the S 70M. Get all of this. Press Control C. Bring it over to your main map and press Control V. Now you can go back over to your blank map and go ahead and close that out. You won't need that no more. So now with your blank map, what you want to do is press Add New Layer, go to Properties, go down to Multiply, and press OK. Now you can add any um, edits or whatever you want to the locomotive as you can see. All right. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go over here to my little cheat sheet and Ashley. First of all, I'm going to show you how to make one for your personal railroad, I guess. So, example, I'm making a, um, I don't know, but it's going to look stupid, but we're just making some type of engine. Um, if you do this, you got your all green, and then you do your, um, I don't know, you do 
get blue. It looks kind of crazy. And blue up here. What you can do is you can just simply do something as um, Control um, A, and then press Control C, and then come to a empty map. Come to an empty map, I guess, and just, just press Control V. Keep canvas size, and as you can see, it really copied everything from the locomotive that you will need. So, and then you can put that on any other locomotive you want. That's how I did with the um, WNA scheme. But hopping straight back into it, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and get my magic wand tool. Hit the um, hit the red, hit the gray, press Control C, and press Control V. See right there, that's where the multiply layer is now. There you go. Now you have it all set up. So what you can do is you can Ooh, excuse me, <laughs> you can rotate it, make it go back, do whatever the heck you want. Um, Pull it up a little bit more over here, and there, there you go. You go up here, and I'm gonna copy it so it can fill in the entire locomotive right here. Oh, that's not supposed to do that. You just pull it over right here, and there you go. That's all done. So you got the, I got the back end already done. Go ahead and get the front complete. There. There and always, um, like when you're making a, a new personal railroad or whatever, be sure to save your um, like save your layer too, so you can have all your like details and whatever the heck you want to put on your next like fictional railroad locomotive. That's that's just a key advice. Always do that. Never forget to do that. There you go. There you go. So you could do all of this if you want. I'm doing it because I just like to get into detail a little bit more. But um, yeah, so there's the basics and I'm gonna go over here and get my magic wand tool, hit this, control C, come back over here, control V. Just come over here and you can simply just put the logo, whatever. Right here, there you go. And if you wanna rotate, okay tip of advice with jet jointed rail engines if you type up here it will come out as upside down when you um it will be upside down when you put the engine in game so what you have to do you have to come up here to image and then press rotate 180 and then you can put all your like text and whatever oh down here simple as that and then rotate back to 180 so you can do whatever the heck you want now so it's, just, it's not that hard to uh, rescan um, some people make it look a little bit difficult, but it's not that hard. Um, yeah, it's actually very simple, but now I'm going to get into um, straight up detailing the locomotive and go ahead and uh, finish the locomotive off. Hopping back into it, um, I'm gonna give y'all another little tip of advice before I wrap this up. Um, if you come over here, when you're uh, reaching the front of a locomotive, usually, the as you can see, the door is backwards. So what you want to do is you want to come to the door on the locomotive, and you want to get your rectangular select tool and get all of this. Press Control C, Control V, and then what you want to do is you want to literally bring it over here. But then you want to flip it, just eyeball it, flip it, and then bring it back till it lines up with the seam right here. Some engines you won't have to do this, but some engines you will. All right, after that, you've really completed your locomotive. Um, oh, or I forgot to add a, another WNA logo on the back of the engine right here. go right 
there. All right, and there's my entire locomotive right there. You can add some finishing details if you want, um, such as I forgot to uh, fix this right here. So what you want to do, like if you want to get rid of uh, details that you added on the layer two, just simply just come here uh, and get this and press cut come over here and um, cut that. Come over here and cut that as well. Uh -oh. That. There you go. So I got all that finished up. And that's basically it when you're coming to um, reskinning your own locomotive. So when you're finished with your locomotive, what you want to do is you want to come over here to file, save as, save as TGA. Sa please save it as TGA. Sometimes you don't even have to put in map one TGA. It will already went there already save it. But if from if I just, as I said with the bump, get rid of the bump part and look for where it will say map one dot tga or it's simply map one and then you can save as type tga so what you want to do is just press save yes um some people have to save it as a 32 bit 24 bit or just auto detect it. sometimes auto detect acts weird so i just always do um, 32 bit press ok and you want to flatten it after you've done that you can come back over to your locomotive and you can press um, you can double click it press show and explorer Press new asset, press config, and you come into the config and name it whatever the heck you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and just name it WNA AC70M. And with some locomotives, these will have skins. Um this oh this you see right here. When it says text library, um you need to reskin the text library. And it's just the same thing as reskinning your locomotive, just what you want to do is just copy this right here, press Control C, then come over here and it's in your search bar. Make sure you have it on installed and not today. And then press Control V, and then what you want to do is you want to get the texture. The texture, it'll come up, it'll come up and you just want to go here, press Content, and then Clone, and then reskin the texture file. So what you want to do now is, um, that's about it for this. I'm going to add some uh, finishing things to the locomotive, such as, um, fix the texture library, add custom form, custom sounds, all of that. So I will be back as soon as I finish all of that. Alright, so after you finish your locomotive, you can literally just type in the name that you named it. And, uh oh, I'll do that right. SD70. Yep. And there it is right there. There's your finished product. So, that was a basic tutorial on how you can do well reskins for your own railroad or if you want to just do um, any other reskins um but now we're gonna hop into how to patch a locomotive which will be our next topic all right now getting back into the video i'm gonna just show y'all how to simply patch a locomotive so today we're gonna be patching this um mlc sd 70 m-2 and um, you can do patching two type of ways. You can literally get a black, black line, make it a little less black like that. Uh, come up here, and then what you can do is just go over it like this. It's as simple as that. But if you want to do something uh, bigger, like I am going to do, um, I have a blank for the S70 M-2 right here. I'm going to just copy it. Control C, come back over here, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a new layer and you're gonna bring it to the bottom, and you're gonna put your um, your blank on layer two. It may have, when you do that, you have to press Control V. So it may have seemed like nothing has changed, but when you go back to your background layer and then start uh, to like get rid of stuff on the locomotive, such as like this, see it patches it out. That's how uh, a friend of mine taught me how to do it. So you see you getting rid of the um, MLC logos now. It is very simple. It's not, not hard to do this at all. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep the logo on that side because why not? And as, it's as simple as that. And you come over here, uh, put W and A or whatever, for whatever your call sign for your railroad is. Um, come over here too. Right here, make it a little bit bigger. Probably a 16 font. You can do it however you want, but I'm going to do it like that. Um, I'm going to go over here, flip it over, and type in W. Oh, that's way too large. Uh, w and A. And just 
just like that you have patched to your own local movie. So it's as simple as that and now what you want to do is just go to file, save as, uh, TGA, uh, and when you're patching a locomotive, go to the map one. Go to map one, not map one both. Uh, save as a TGA, yes, yes, flat. You're done. You don't have to do nothing else. It's as simple as that. All right, so now I'm going to uh, finish up the locomotive, um, uh, submit the asset, and I'm going to show you all the intro and everything. That will wrap up our tutorial for today. And just like that, you've completed your, um, your own reskin. It's as simple as that. Uh, when you start uh, doing it a lot, you'll get really good at it. But yeah, this there's your two reskins, and um, yeah, that's about it. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this um, tutorial, and um, I'll see y'all in the next video, which will most likely be on how to do some simple, simple weathering in um, Photoshop. So I will speak to y'all guys later. Peace out.